Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dan Mello, so I'd like to introduce myself as a member of the IDC Tools and Products Development Team. I'm also a state liaison serving a number of states in the Northeast and uh, Atlantic Islands. Uh, so I'd like to welcome you officially to the webinar. So there's no mistake about what data we're talking about. We're talking about the legislative requirement for publicly reporting Section 618 data at the state level. And for Part B, this means child count and environment, exiting, personnel, discipline, assessment, dispute resolution, and MOECIS. And for Part C, this means child count and settings, exiting, dispute resolution. And these are just general collections, of course. And uh, the tools, I, I went over that quite quickly, but the tools that we're promoting today are really meant to help digest and assure that you're meeting their requirements. So we can uh, dig into the particulars during this presentation and also address your specific questions afterwards. Hello. So the first product that we discussed had, um, you know, really covers the basics of uh, public reporting the requirements and how states are going about meeting their requirements. The, there are a number of um, perspectives that went into developing the tools so that would hopefully be most useful for, uh, for our audience, that's you. Um, we worked with um, our current IDC technical assistance providers. We worked closely with our uh, technology uh, partners at FrameWeld, and we got a lot of feedback from data managers in the field, particularly uh, Mary Corey was just instrumental in providing feedback. And we are really appreciative of the feedback that we received. We hope that this product hub is your state meeting Section 618 public reporting requirements has proven useful for uh, states that have accessed it. It's, uh, I think it's technically we're calling an, an interactive infographic that helps users understand the requirements for public reporting of Section 618 data and provides information about common pitfalls in the public reporting process. It was me meant to be a baseline information tool so that um, state directors and coordinators, data managers, researchers, and advocates and legal uh, legislators would uh, understand the basic requirements and you know the resources and procedures and most importantly I think the pitfalls to watch out for in the process of public reporting. The tool is meant to be a an informational resource that we hope that data managers can reference throughout their process. So we hope that data managers and uh, directors and coordinators will when it's time to public report annually to visit the report, review the information. I'll tell you how the information is presented in just a moment. But also share it out to individuals who are involved in your public reporting process. That includes um, you know, your state um, website uh, moderators, uh, your, your stakeholders, and uh, your team that's going to support you in the process, and the information will live online, so you can revisit it at any time during the process because their information is sort of put into compartments and, you know, when you come to the process of uh, assuring that uh, privacy is upheld and that there's no chance of incidental disclosure of information, uh, student education records, for example, feel free to, of course, come visit the part of the report that's dedicated to that information. The tool, I think, is easiest to think about in two sections. One would be annotated legislation, um, and the other being a sort of a question and answer that's meant to address some common questions that uh, data managers should be thinking about. Uh, the an annotated legislation looks like the screen shot that you've got on your webinar screen right now. It's color-coded. Uh, B being green, blue being part, I'm sorry, uh, part C, and uh, it, it references the relevant EdFax file numbers as they're presented and aligned with the legislation. You could take a look at the full legislation so that if you're looking at 
you know, with your stakeholders, you can easily see which part of the legislation each data collection fits into. And um, the information is presented the same way in the same order that the legislation is presented within IDEA 618 so that your stakeholders, uh, you can then support your stakeholders as they interpret legislation. Um, the second half, as I, as I mentioned, is set up in a user-friendly question and answer that explains the major considerations for data managers as they progress through the process of public reporting. I think one of the, we're really um, happy to have worked with FrameWeld. They gave us a great way to organize this in information. There, the tool has both features of global and local navigation. So at the bottom of the tool, you have a way of understanding how to progress through the information. And up in the right-hand corner, which is uh, what this screen in front of you highlights, there's global navigation that will help you, um, you know, if you are in a point in your public reporting you'd like to know more about either, you know, an annotated legislation related to Part B exiting, or if you want to know about how this work, works into your timeline. We imagine that users of uh, varying experience would be using this tool, so we tried to make the organize, organization appropriate for a wide audience. So that, that sums up, I think, the public reporting infographic. I think possibly that, you know, many of you have visited and used the tool, and um, I'd certainly like to hear about your experience if you have, if you have any feedback on it. 